Hi, this is Simon from Tokyo Productions and welcome to another tutorial for Blackmagic Fusion. And today we're going to have a quick look at tracking a paint stroke. So I've got this annoying blue blob and I want to clone it out. So I'm going to select my blob loader, shift space bar paint to add a paint tool. Let's look at that on the viewer. Now you'll notice that by default it gives us a multi-stroke and we don't want that we also don't want clone multi-stroke we want just the simple stroke tool and this is because this is the only one that allows us to actually track it so I'm going to open up my stroke there I'm going to set the apply mode to color like that and I'm just going to scribble over my dot using the default white paint color okay now I want you to notice one thing which is that as soon as I've completed stroke one fusion automatically makes stroke two now, there's stroke one, we can adjust its opacity there. Stroke two is currently empty. But just for safety, I like to delete this just in case I get confused which, about which stroke I'm tracking. So now I'm going to open up the stroke controls here and I'm going to select the center and right click, modify with tracker position. And that you'll see has given us a tracker and that's nicely centered on our dot there. We could, of course, offset and adjust the tracker if we wanted, but I'm just going to go right ahead, open up the tracker here. I need to select my tracker source and add it to this well here. So I'm going to select my paint blob and drag it in there. And you'll see that now says loader one. So then I can go right ahead and track forward from current time, like so. That tracks through. And now my paint stroke follows the blob. And it's really as simple as that. I'm just going to close up those tracking controls. I'm going to switch the mode to clone. And I'm just going to offset the X position to 0.35. And you'll see that that's now cloned that out because of that offset. But of course, if we were doing this with a real shot, we would have set it up differently. I would started off with a paint stroke, but let's start over and actually do a proper clone. So let's delete that, add a new paint node. Look at that on the viewer, select our single stroke, and this time select clone for the apply mode. And then holding down the Alt or Option key, I'm just going to click to set my clone source. And I'm going to scribble over the dot like that to get rid of it. OK, let's delete stroke two, open up the stroke controls, right click on the center, Modify with tracker position, come to our tracker controls, load up our loader, track forward, and there you go. We've cloned out the dot. So as you can see, a very simple process, very easily done. Okay, I hope that's been useful. Thanks very much indeed for watching, and I'll see you again another time.